right, it looks like it's time for happy hour. I'm going to click on the link here. And then I'm going to wait to open Zoom meetings. And I'm going to wait patiently. I want to join with video so they can see who I am and I can see them. And now I'm in the waiting room. So I'm going to wait patiently and hopefully Reverend Cindy will let me in. Oh, look. It looks like it went away, but it didn't. You just have to be a little patient. Oh, hi, Steven's there. Well, hi, Barbara. Hi. Good to see you. I was waiting patiently in the waiting room. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Cheers. I was admitting all of you one at a time. It's hard work, you know. It takes a bit, doesn't it? So when you get in, we thought we'd go over all the controls on the screen. So um, the first one, it looks like a microphone. And you're going to click on the little microphone over here. And you have choice of different microphones that you can select. Um, in my case, I've only got two selections. But Steve, I think yours is a bit different. Yeah, so in my case, because I have a separate earpiece um, in uh, plugged into my laptop, there's both the regular microphone on my laptop, which is this Realtek audio, and then this Logitech USB headset that I have plugged into my laptop through a USB cable. So um, if you have just an iPhone or an iPad, you probably won't need to worry about this. But if you're on somebody else's computer and there's more than one device that might be getting used, this could be part of what uh, this could be causing your audio problems if nobody's hearing you. So that that's something to play with. So this is also where you can test your speaker and your microphone. Uh, one of the things about the microphone is if you're walking along the beach um, and you're just listening to the conversation, you might want to mute your microphone so that people don't hear all the sound that the wind makes. Or if right as you get into the um, happy hour and the gardener comes, um, you might want to mute your microphone until you have something to say. That way other people don't have to hear the, the gardener. This also goes for if you're going to type anything on the same computer that you are Zooming with, because as you can see right now, the sound of my own typing is probably not making it very easy to understand. So as a courtesy, mute yourself if you're doing any other work on your computer. But just make sure to unmute yourself when you want to talk. For sure. The next button that I like is the, it looks like a little video camera. Um, and it shows me that I'm using the, the camera from the, the laptop. You can play with your video settings. You don't normally have to touch those. But what I like is you can choose your background. And because I teach, I've got my whiteboard up with the, my lessons from my um, students that I don't necessarily want you to see. So I can come in here and change the background. If you want to choose something like I chose St. James, you hit this um, plus button and you can add an image. So if you wanted to, you could have um, anything you choose. But I'm going to go with plain because I'm not wearing the right thing for an image at this point. Um, the next button I'd like to talk about is the chat button. I like this one because to me, it's just like when you pass notes at school, you can um, do it without people seeing. But you need to be careful because right here it says you're typing to everyone. So if I want to say Chef Patrick, and muffins, I can do that there. Oops, it went to everybody. Um, so you need to be careful and you can select who you want it to go to. So I can't spell. So this one is going just to Steve. It's just privately. And if Steve Stephen was going to respond just to me, he needs to make sure that it's, it's just to me and not to everybody. This is a, also a good place if there's a website that everybody should be going to. You might want to you know, type the website in there. Stephen, did you want to talk about reactions? Well, 
if, uh, let's say, um, Reverend Cindy sometimes wants to get a feel for, you know, ask a question to the entire room. Um, so she might say, who likes this time, uh, the 11 a.m. coffee hour? Um, uh, who would like to have a different time or who, who likes this particular time? And she might say, how about thumbs up for yes, you like it. Uh, what does that mean? It's because if there are 30 of us in the same Zoom meeting and she asks a question, we all answer all at once. Um, it'll sound exactly like it would in a, in a regular, in a physical room, which is like a complete cacophony, right? So rather than uh, a show of hands or us physically raising our hands with uh, on, t on a bunch of tiny little screens where you know um, we're, we're looking like the Brady Bunch, it might be difficult to tell who's actually raising their hands. I can go over to the bottom of the Zoom window and go to this button that says Reactions. And what that's going to do, uh, there are two options. There's one that's a thumbs up and one that's a little clap or a wave. And so um, that's if I, for the clap, for example, if I like something somebody just said and I don't want to interrupt by saying, oh, wow, that's amazing, and interrupt the meeting for 30 people because the sound of my voice will, you know, happen even over the sound of somebody else who might be speaking. I can click this little wave window and it'll pop up on my window and everybody will be able to see or separately if Reverend Cindy asks, who likes this time slot? Thumbs up. Then... If you do, if you want to say yes, you would go to reactions and click the thumbs up. And then Reverend Cindy will be able to better track um, who's actually trying to respond yes without a big wall of sound of people saying yes, no, no, yes, eyes, nays, etc. So that's a little subtle way to communicate um, when a, 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 a bunch of us want to say something at the same time. Another thing is if you want to know who's in the meeting you can click on this participants button down here and it lists everybody who's in the meeting. And when you look at the microphone, the one that's moving is the person who's speaking. Such as right now when I speak. Right. Um, there is a record button, but I highly suggest you don't do it um, unless everybody's in agreement that it should be recorded. Steve, are we missing anything? I think that's, that covers it pretty thoroughly. Uh, there are some slightly different uh, considerations if you're going to, if you have to dial in, but um, for, we'll probably I'll have to cover those in a separate um, document or video if anybody is interested in. This is uh, mostly to, dial, to, to connect in through a computer and the commands will be laid out a little bit differently if you're using the Zoom app on an iPhone or an Android or a tablet or an iPad, but the commands are the same, so they should all be there, including how to mute yourself, how to do reactions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just find those same buttons. The icons will look the same, and um, everything Barbara just explained will be just as true there. So cheers. Hope to see you Sunday. Well, cheers to you. Yeah, see so you at coffee hour. Oh, I got the real mug. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, we'll... I need to get mine out of the dishwasher, uh, <laughs> which I will have in time for coffee hour on Sunday morning. We hope to see Bye, you everyone. there. Bye.